What's going on, everybody? Welcome into the stream. We are live with another Overlord matchup here in Strategic. This one, though, not going to be a faction Overlord. This is one of the neutral Overlords that are on the map that players, uh, factions can choose to attack, and they can get some points out of it. So I will say as the uh, Mercenary Overlord uh, sent a couple Mercenaries out, Ut Utenpished him. This was not in our initial plan, but... Uh, when our overlord went down turn one, we definitely needed to recoup some points by uh, retaking the capital and seeing if we can take out Utnapishtim. So one of the Medusans running the event will be running the boat, uh, the chosen overlord, and that is going to be Deadly Penguin. How are you feeling about this matchup? Oh, I'm feeling great, uh, ready to be on the party boat, just doing <laughs> party stuff, you know? Yeah, definitely an interesting Overlord. He'll bring Daemons into play right next to him. Could prove to be a challenge for the Mercenaries. We've got Elemental running Shasis and Celtic running Alisara. Welcome into the team, or welcome into the stream, my teammates. How are you guys feeling about this one? Yeah, I'm feeling all right. Feeling all right. It should be tough. It's an Overlord. AJ's a good player, but we will see. For sure. It feels bad to go against the. The overlord that i was rooting for last strategic for sure <laughs> yeah this is one i was able to run in the last round i will say i was a much less experienced player then and it did not go very well for me um built a pretty poor deck i think there were even some illegal actions in there didn't quite get the memo that medusa and lord's guile wasn't allowed in the overlord decks for that one uh, and ended up dying to iron hall but i think we're ready to go ahead and jump into it we got a lot of viewers in here now so uh, I will mute myself on Discord. I will stay in the chat here. I'll just turn you guys down a little bit, and let's go. All right, sounds good. So this is very similar to Celtic's Worlds deck, uh, if you're familiar with that at all. It's, I mean, it's Alisara, so it's usually going to be drag and drop. I know there are some variations where it's not, but that's pretty much the goal here. We've got a build-up deck of Celtic playing dragons and a blitzier deck of Elemental playing Shasis and monsters. So Utnapishtim is a chosen overlord daemon uh, with Scribe plus four. He's a cleric and a wizard, but cannot equip items. That's a huge downside of him as an overlord. Uh, that was a big struggle I found building the deck uh, last time. But, uh, okay, I'll go ahead and start this timer. And he has react before a strike roll against Utnapish to remove a scribed spell. The strike is a critical failure. Then order put a lower level daemon into play from your hand adjacent to Utnapish to regardless of formation. Now that regardless of formation was primarily for the Overlord Challenge rules, uh, in 4e when he was released, he would move one rank each turn through your ranks, and if he uh, sailed past you, he uh, would essentially defeat you. You lost the challenge. I will allow Gracchus to stick around, um, unless he starts getting a little bit too rowdy about the Overlord kill, then he'll, he'll definitely earn himself uh, a little bit of a timeout from the stream. Okay, so we got Shasis pit fighting. So he will pit fight Amon, and I think he missed. He misses. What's Shasis' attack? Six. Wow. <laughs> if the mercs lose their overlord round one and lose to AJ round two, does the whole faction O2 drop at that point? Yeah, we will split our territories evenly between uh, Nothrog, Elves, Free Kingdoms, and Dwarves. I think I missed. Seems like uh, Shasis did somehow hit Amand because he is down and uh, moved Blaze forward. So, yep, Amand died to move up Utnapishtim. 
into rank two. Celtic starting more in Jackals. It's a little bit more aggressive start. Personally, when I'm playing Alisara, I run uh, Bem Condoto as level four, and I just go search him out right away. But, uh, I mean, to be fair, Celtic did better last Worlds with Alisara than I did. Um, so it's, you know, to each their own strategy. I don't like Mizir and Trader. Um, I've had some rough experiences with him. I know a lot of people really like playing him. Uh, and again, Celtic has had success with him. It is just melee or range strike, so any, you know, action that targets um, can still get through him. I know that's a little bit more circumstantial, but... Got a meet at the end coming from Celtic here, so that is a 3-1 uh, to one card advantage for Team Mercenary there uh, off that play. That's going at the blaze. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Yep, it is a melee strike. Thank you, Resto. Uh, I, I took a long time learning how to pronounce it when he came out in 4E. Uh, but fun fact about Utnapish, Tim, he is named after a boat in the Epic of Gilgamesh. Uh, a lot of um, chosen characters have Babylonian-based names, uh, and Utnapishtim is no different. I guess I don't know for sure if uh, Epic of Gilgamesh is Babylonian, but I know Utnapishtim is a boat in Epic of Gilgamesh, and I know a lot of the other daemon names are Babylonian-based. Literally, you can go on Fantasy Name Generator, uh, go to Babylonian names, and you'll start you'll start seeing daemon names. So Mass Bless off of the boat. That'll be a plus seven to the front. And Celtic is our lieutenant as well, which is why he has the Care Standard in play. I'm sure most of you watching uh, are familiar with that, but just in case somebody finds this VOD later on, uh, in Strategic, you name a lieutenant out of the six pl players that you drafted, and they get to start with that faction banner in play. So that is what Celtic has here. Are you guys getting any desktop audio from them? It doesn't look like it. Turn that up a little bit, I'm sorry. Someone should have said something. Okay, so he has another Viper Whip going on Jackals. This is a spell, so it will ignore Planer. And down goes Jackals. I'll go ahead and play more Jackals than the fourth. And here is where the Mercenaries hope that he doesn't have a third Viper Whip. Um, Definitely going to be running some other offensive spells, though. His current formation tells me maybe he doesn't have any Daemons to play this turn. Although moving up could indicate uh, that he does. Now, this is interesting. He can't take a shot at Will-O-Wisp, but he can take a shot at Blaze to try and, try and collapse Elemental's ranks. So there's Bem out of Celtic. Uh, kind of anticipated that with that fourth rank. Boat moved ready into two with Amon Dilchant's Spend Order. Now we've got Raging Hungerer. And that's one I don't love running in uh, Salazar, just because getting him from rank 5 up to rank 1 ready and attacking is usually a little bit tricky before you have to kill some guys or lose hit points, but that is not going to be a problem coming into play ready in turn 1. So we got three strikes off Hunger going on Trogid that will hit. Well, anything but a 1 will hit. Really? What's going on? Ready Trogid again. That'll hit. 
seven, that same thing, and then I will drop. Uh, I'll drop with the jackals. I, uh, no, drop to yeah. south. Okay. Yeah, pulling up jackals oh, with Trogan probably right, not the right, best. Oh my. But we'll see. That planer could help out. All right. Uh, Zypunk here for the boat. I can see uh, Raging Hunger looking like Hellboy. I was never a huge fan of it. I enjoyed the movies, but I never followed the comics or anything like that. But I can totally see how it would look like Hellboy art. Rise okay, so Celtic has four cards in hand, sure. about to be a fifth, hasn't played any dragons yet, so a little bit of a slower start than what we maybe saw him get most of the time in Worlds, where he's got uh, Draxon in play by now, but uh, Utnapishtim only having two cards left in hand compared to five for Celtic, Jesus. who is apparently having a hard time figuring what to grab, or... Uh, Maybe he's having trouble playing on mobile. I know he does that a lot too, so if Untap has given him trouble, that could slow things down a bit. Hang on. This one thing's not working. You're good. So, still three cards left in hand for Elemental as well. He's got strikes off of Sarth. Probably not Blaze this turn. I would anticipate for the boat maybe one more offensive spell and one more daemon, or maybe two daemons. Sure, T, spin react after a thrall is killed by a character you control, creating an illegal second rank. Move, target, thrall. Interesting. Okay. Anything even on the jackals, that'll get it. Ooh, I would have fallen Sarth there. Spin Sarth to play uh, Pounce and Lunge. Okay. There we go. And I think... It's probably not going to hit just because of... Uh, that mass bless. Man, it feels so bad. <coughs> All of it feels terrible. I guess I'm gonna go against the. Uh, probably go raging hunger here. A raging hunger. Sixteen, eighteen, or twenty gets there. Yeah, like a fifteen. Twenty foot. Uh, what are you going for? I'm sorry. Raging hunger. Raging hunger. He has fifteen, eighteen, and twenty. Yep. So fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, or twenty hits. Yeah. I, I feel like that's what you gotta do. Brutal. What does Celtic have? Oh, that's right, he goes first. Okay, just level three, not the end of the world. Spend order, move forward one rank. Uh, that's not gonna be relevant. Order, once per turn, kill a thrall until end of turn. She gains an additional strike when attacking. I have to read all these because nobody outside of Vac and Disc Golf really knows Chosen. Midge, what's up? Thanks for tuning into the stream. So Kills Devoted gets another Devoted. Now it's back to Elemental. Ooh, pass with two cards in hand. Yeah, not a great start for Shasis. I'll 
I'll go ahead and use the react to move Sarth forward one. Sure. Shasis will be stunned. Uh, my last strike is at a base plus one, so we're going to do plus eight on Sarth. I will use Alistar's ability. Mm -hmm. All right. Supremus. Well, Supremus is a good one to go ahead and shuffle back in here. And I believe this is where he gets Flame Fang and we get that engine going. So at the very least, Elemental soaked up a bunch of strikes that would have gone to Celtic, allowing him to build up. Just have to hope it's enough. Then allows me to get this item. Yep. So, for those unfamiliar with the combo, Flame Fang comes in, automatically gets an item. Uh, even though he comes in stunned, it's a static. So you go get an item, put it in your hand, and then he gets Hearman's Epic, which he equips to Raven Wild. Then he can discard Flame Fang to go get Draxon. Tried to scribe Mass Blessing and got a one. Brutal. Is the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. How many cards do you have left in your hand, Celtic? Two? Four. Four? AJ with no cards left in hand. He's just deciding, I think, if he wants to swing it devoted here. Is that the only thing on the table? Uh, I'll pass. I believe it is. Um, Epic on Ravenwell. Sure. Uh, go ahead, go ahead, keep going. Use it. Kill Flame Fang. So down goes Flame Fang, in comes Draxon. Nosedive Draxon. Let's see what those last three cards are for Celtic, but they enter play, I think, in the rank behind him. Yeah, okay. And then once per turn, ready a dragon. He's got Ravenwild for redirection, which is going to be huge. I'm just going to pass. Passing with three cards in hand. Wow. Man, that must have been a bad hand. Hand of Power, Rescue, and he's oh. going to save one, maybe? Or is he trying to hold the Rescue? Save the No, okay, so yeah, Hand of Power couldn't play. Rescue couldn't play. Hand of Power not going to do a whole lot in this matchup, so that's okay at least. Underplay, Sarf. Elemental was holding By Your Word and Rescue. I'm going to play Sea of Flames. That's a big problem. That's a really big problem. Excellent. Okay. I'm going to try to blink the rescue. Ooh. That didn't, that didn't go great for me before. All right. Let's go. Shoot. Yeah, you're not going to get unbiased commentary on this stream, that's for sure. So boat backs up to two. For that? No, I got Man, so down go the Mizieran traders. I debated keeping my rescue, and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna go down. I have two in my hand. I drop one. Uh, Elemental couldn't have rescued though, because he doesn't have any first level characters that were targeted. So that ended up not being the worst call on his part, but. Uh, Man, that is brutal. Okay, well now it's Celtic's turn. I wonder, does he nosedive Ravenwild, maybe? Yeah, the boat, I mean, he probably just breathes fire right out the front. We see his mouth is all glowy, his eyes are glowy, and he's got fire on top.
Celtic really contemplating this move here. Getting some interesting feedback through my headphones. I wonder if that's Discord. Huh, so the stream looks like it's going fine, but I am not getting any audio from them out of Discord. Are you guys having any trouble with the stream? Oh, it's me. Oh, okay. So there was audio. They were just thinking it was, uh, I think, white noise filling in the gaps. So yeah, Celtics go here. Four cards in hand after the rescue was blinked. It's all good, AJ. We forgive you. I think that's automatic loss, actually. I was checking on this <laughs> specifically for the furniture. So Celtic contemplating this move, uh, obviously without knowing what's in his hand. He has to wonder if he wants to send Ravenwild to the front. Because, man, that Raging Hunger right there, that's going to eat through that Will-O-Wisp. Then you got Draxon stunned all over again. Um, shaking on a... Really doesn't look good at that point. Rules for something real quick. You're fine. Yeah, the longer you live, the longer I survive, so it feels really good. Interesting. And maybe he's looking back on that rescue play. I do wonder what he would be looking for. <coughs> okay. I think he put uh, rescue back into play on accident. So yeah, he'll stage dive Ravenwild. But uh, he can still have his ranks collapsed by Raging Hunger. Also, uh, Raging Hunger had to kill somebody? Or I'm just noticing that as well. The Medusans are in here trying to cheat. It's rigged. So now Raging Hunger can power attack Ravenwild. Let's go. Really needed that to miss. So two more strikes, but that means <laughs> Graham pulling for the boat, Team Medusin. So down goes Ravenwild, but the big thing was missing that power attack check, so Wisp is still in play. Now, uh, Bizvarex? I don't know. I don't know how you pronounce that. That's my turn, right? Could still be a problem for Wisp. No, will be a problem for Wisp. Um, plus 12 on the 16. Can kill for an additional strike, but man, just got to stun up Bem. That Sea of Flames ended up being absolutely pivotal. Yep, so it's uh, base plus one. So she's got five, two, one, which is going to be 12, 7, 8. 
Yeah, Grack, a sea of flame is what killed all three Mizier and traders. Otherwise, Celtic was set up pretty good. Sarth not able to do a whole lot there. Mm hmm. Roll low, AJ. Eight on Dodo. Here it is. Okay, so down he goes. Don't think Celtic is done yet, but it does not look great. Since there is no... Well, Draxon is stunned, so dragons can't enter play behind him anyways. Oh, he put the rescue back in play to attach it. Yeah, that makes sense. Graham, do you mean Celtic just has to spend up Alisar in place of premise? That is a possibility, uh, but spending up into Raging Hunger, and if AJ has anything else in hand, uh, next turn does not seem like a good time. Let's use Alisar's ability. Probably going to go get Tor in here. Uh, if I had to guess, shuffle Ebon Scourge in. I would assume Torin is the only level three that he runs. Um, he did send me his list, but I definitely don't have all of them memorized. But if he can uh, get Torin in play, use Torin to maybe grab a good card for next turn, at the very least know what's coming. Stun up Tor, and then he's got a spot in rank two if he wins initiative to play. Okay, Temple of Lore two. So Draxon getting uh, a lot more AC and hit points. That's probably a good play. I honestly have no recollection of that being in the list. That's a very good card in this scenario. <laughs> Resto. Yeah, that's one way of doing things. Sean Kassin comes into play. Boot can only put lower level into play, so Sean Kassin at level 6 is the highest level he can go. Uh... One of the better ones that can come into play. Two Shanka Sins is even better. Uh, Getroxis is probably the best one. Paymaster in two. Interesting. Celtic definitely knows what he's doing. Uh, he knows those two cards in hand, and he's definitely a better player than me, but Paymaster in two... I feel like one would have been better. You definitely want uh, spots to play dragons next turn. But he's got a plan. That's why we drafted him. Staring down a lot of daemons next turn. Can he not enter play in one because Temple of Lore? Because he says he can enter play in any rank. But then if he tries to enter in one, would Temple push him back? I don't know how that would work. Because I thought once you had a like static, you enter play in this rank, that wasn't adjusted by my raising or lowering entering level. Passing. Can Devoted take down the temple? And it does. God damn it. That sucks, man. Double even rolls. It's okay. It all just feels bad all the time. Yeah, so it's really a confused... Maybe he was slow playing there. Didn't really care about the strike from Paymaster. Hmm. 
Okay, so basically Celtic needs initiative and supremacy here. Since Raging Hunger will take down Draxon uh, with a made power attack roll. Celtic did not win initiative. So he will go after AJ. So AJ only gets one action before Celtic goes, but that one action is presumably enough to kill Draxon. Okay, makes power attack. We got plus 12 on 15. That's pretty much two wounds. Yep, that'll hit. Okay, the nine and the six. Oh, it's on the dot. Okay, so six. Here's where it matters. Man. Down goes Draxon. Yeah, that will do it. Yeah, since last turn. He's been holding Supremus. Man, all he needed was initiative. Yeah, just couldn't play anything. Man. Someone's getting a call. Well, well, feels bad. We tried. Sorry, guys. The party boat don't stop for no one. That's why I didn't post that in, you know, in trash talk in general. They stepped in the murk. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's it's cool being a neutral challenge overlord because I can get the uh, the trash talk in those channels and let people have their own private way to talk shit to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it sucks being that close to that sea of flame was definitely pivotal there. Um you, you definitely have to anticipate that and calling the storm out of uh Utna pished him, but definitely not what you wanted to see, and then just losing initiative with uh, Supremus in hand. Absolutely brutal. Yeah, and then I had two rescues the first turn, so I kept one just in case. I know. I needed two. <laughs> yeah, the, I probably would have only kept one, too. Um, the blink off the rescue was also huge, too. I don't think that's a play. For sure. Yeah. Well, we'll go ahead and close out the stream with a giveaway nonetheless. We'll do one for people in chat. So if you're in chat, now is the time to speak up to be entered into the giveaway. And I will need somebody in this game to roll for me. We'll give people a little bit more time. But we got Vac, Resto, Dragonbane, Rain, Zydepunk. Gracchus is exempt from giveaways until February. We got Graham, <laughs> Forged Cake. I think if you roll Gracchus, then you should get it. Uh, Eagle, Ollie, okay, Captain, why don't we go ahead and roll uh, a d10, and we'll count up from there. It's two. It so two. it goes to Kinnerin. Uh Roll a d20, and we'll see what she gets. 12, so that's going to be a random treasure. Who's Jay Kazi? Is that... That's not Kamikaze, that's a new one. That's him. Oh, that's Kamikaze? Okay. Got a breastplate of power as the treasure. So it is a level 7 fighter item, armor charge unique. Other characters in this rank gain plus 2 attack and AC. Gives yourself plus 2 attack and plus 3 AC as well. I would say out of treasure, that's probably a win. Um, Kinnerin, let me know if you want that sent your way. Um, I'm sending a loot box to Ollie anyway, so if you want that included, just let me know. Uh, otherwise, we will add it to the horde. And I'm going to close down this stream. I talked about this uh, earlier. 
And I am going to try and raid some magic channels, see if we can kind of grow Warlord, grow the following. So let's see. I think it is. Let's tune into this guy. I don't know. I, I haven't previewed these, so if it sucks, you know, I, I can't make any promises. But I, I've only raided Vac one time, uh, which, speaking of that, Vac will be starting, I think, at 7 Central. So be sure to tune into his stream as well after this. Okay, what is this guy's name? Hold on. Where's Brian Fiend? Ah, there it is. There you go, Rain. One minute on the raid. Let's see. Okay. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks for watching the VOD as well. We'll see you guys in the raid. Thank you.